Welcome back to our channel. In our last video, we discussed about the signs and symptoms of proteinuria, which the top symptom is foamy urine. So if you've noticed foamy urine quite for some time now, it might be due to a condition called proteinuria, where there's excess protein in your urine. Today, we'll explore how to address this issue, focusing on vitamins and supplements that can support kidney health. But before we continue, I'd like to make something clear, foamy urine and bubble urine are not the same thing. I know they resemble, but most people sometimes mistake bubbles from foams. Let me explain. Bubbles in urine usually look like small individual circles or clusters of circles that dissipate quickly, can be caused by urinating with force or the mixing of urine with cleaning agents in the toilet bowl, meaning that everyone may have bubbles in the toilet after urinating. But foamy urine is characterized by a layer of larger, more dense, and persistent bubbles that may take longer to dissipate. That's just it. So in this video, we go about the ways to eradicate the foamy urine using well-certified vitamins. And again, welcome to Healthy. Numerous studies have demonstrated the importance of vitamins and minerals in maintaining kidney health and their potential therapeutic effects on proteinuria. Here are some key ones. Vitamin D is often called the sunshine vitamin because your skin can produce it when exposed to sunlight. Just 10 to 15 minutes of sun exposure a few times a week can help your body produce enough vitamin D although this can vary based on factors like skin type, location, and time of year. Vitamin D can help manage proteinuria by reducing the leakage of proteins in the urine by modulating the function of the glomeruli, the filtering units in the kidneys, slowing the progression of chronic kidney disease, which is often associated with proteinuria, lowering blood pressure by regulating the renin-angiotensin system, thus reducing the pressure on the glomeruli and decreasing proteinuria. Vitamin D can be obtained through sun exposure, dietary sources, and supplementation. Dietary sources include fatty fish, like salmon and tuna, egg yolks, mushrooms, and fortified foods such as milk and cereals. Vitamin D is unique among vitamins because it acts more like a hormone in the body. Once produced or consumed, it's converted into its active form, calcitriol, which then helps regulate calcium and phosphorus levels, supporting bone health and immune function. Check your vitamin D levels to determine if you have a deficiency or insufficiency. That's if you want to take the supplement. Let's move to the second vitamin, omega-3 fatty acids. They are known for their anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, which can potentially support kidney function and help manage proteinuria. Some studies suggest that omega-3 fatty acids can reduce proteinuria by reducing inflammation in the kidneys, which can contribute to protein leakage in the urine. Improving kidney function by reducing oxidative stress and preserving the structure of the kidneys. Balancing the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acids, which can help decrease inflammation in the body, including the kidneys. The best sources of omega-3 fatty acids include fatty fish, salmon, mackerel, sardines, trout, and tuna are excellent sources of omega-3 fatty acids. Plant-based sources, walnuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, and canola oil, a type of omega-3 fatty acid that the body can convert into EPA and DHA, which are the types found in fatty fish. Supplements. High-quality fish oil or algae-based supplements can provide adequate amounts of omega-3 fatty acids, particularly for people who don't consume sufficient amounts through diet. Studies suggest that omega-3s can help improve symptoms of depression and anxiety, showing that these fatty acids are not just essential for physical health, but also for mental well-being. When incorporating omega-3 fatty acids into your diet, choose high-quality sources, moderate your intake, and talk to your healthcare provider before taking supplements to avoid potential interactions with medications or medical conditions. It's important to maintain a balance of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids for optimal health. Coming on to the third vitamin, B vitamins, B6 and B12. B6, pyridoxine, and B12, cobalamin are often called the energy vitamins because they play crucial roles in converting food into energy. B12 is especially important for maintaining healthy nerve cells and producing DNA, while B6 helps in over 100 enzyme reactions involved in metabolism. They are essential for maintaining kidney health and may help with proteinuria in several ways. B6. It helps break down protein in the body and can potentially decrease proteinuria by reducing the amount of protein in the blood. B12. It plays a crucial role in red blood cell production and supports the health of the kidneys and other organs. 
low levels of B12 can contribute to proteinuria. Combined effect Studies have suggested that the combined effects of B6 and B12 may reduce proteinuria in patients with chronic kidney disease, potentially by improving kidney function and reducing inflammation. The best sources of B6 and B12 include B6, chicken, fish, potatoes, bananas, chickpeas, and fortified cereals. B12, meat, poultry, eggs, fish, dairy products, and fortified soy products. B vitamins are also available in supplement form, but it's crucial to consult your healthcare provider before taking any supplements, as excessive intake can have negative effects. The foaminess and foamy urine can be quite similar to the froth on a freshly poured beer. This phenomenon occurs because proteins in the urine reduce surface tension, creating bubbles. Just like in beer, proteins, which can include albumin, act as surfactants and create the foamy appearance. Coming to the fourth vitamin, vitamin C. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant, which helps neutralize harmful free radicals and reduce oxidative stress in the kidneys. This can help protect kidney cells from damage and potentially reduce proteinuria. Iron Absorption Vitamin C enhances the absorption of iron, which is essential for maintaining healthy red blood cells and preventing anemia. Anemia is a common complication of chronic kidney disease and can exacerbate proteinuria. Immune Support Vitamin C helps support a healthy immune system, which can indirectly help prevent infections and other conditions that can negatively impact kidney function. The best sources of vitamin C include citrus fruits, oranges, grapefruits, lemons, and limes are high in vitamin C. Fruits, other fruits such as kiwi, papaya, strawberries, and cantaloupe are also rich in vitamin C. Vegetables, bell peppers, broccoli, kale, and Brussels sprouts are excellent dietary sources of vitamin C. Supplements, vitamin C supplements are available, but consult with your healthcare provider before taking them as excessive intake can lead to adverse effects. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is famous for preventing scurvy, a disease that plagued sailors in the 18th century who were on long sea voyages without access to fresh fruits and vegetables. The British Navy discovered that consuming citrus fruits like lemons and limes could prevent scurvy, earning British sailors the nickname Limeys. Incorporating a variety of vitamin C-rich foods into your diet is an effective way to support kidney health and potentially manage proteinuria. Maintain a balanced intake and consult with your healthcare provider to ensure you're consuming appropriate amounts of vitamin C for your specific needs. We now have magnesium. Magnesium plays a role in regulating blood pressure, which is important for kidney function and potentially reducing the risk of proteinuria. Reduce inflammation. Magnesium has anti-inflammatory properties, which may help support kidney function and reduce the risk of damage that can lead to proteinuria. Prevent kidney stones. Magnesium can help prevent the formation of kidney stones, which can impact kidney function and potentially contribute to proteinuria. However, the scientific evidence regarding the direct impact of magnesium on proteinuria is limited. Therefore, it's essential to speak with a healthcare provider before considering magnesium supplements to ensure they are safe and appropriate for you. Instead of focusing on a single nutrient, prioritize a well-rounded diet that includes various kidney-friendly foods and lifestyle modifications that can support kidney health. The best sources of magnesium include leafy greens, kale, Swiss chard, and romaine lettuce are excellent sources of magnesium. Nuts and seeds, almonds, cashews, pumpkin seeds, and sunflower seeds are rich in magnesium. Whole grains, oats, quinoa, and brown rice are good sources of magnesium. Beans and legumes. Black beans, kidney beans, and lentils are high in magnesium. Fish, halibut, mackerel, and tuna are magnesium-rich seafood options. Incorporating magnesium-rich foods into your diet can support kidney health and other aspects of your overall wellness. Remember, a balanced diet that includes a variety of nutrient-dense foods is crucial for achieving optimal health and well-being. In addition to vitamins and supplements we discussed in this video, maintaining a balanced diet and staying hydrated is essential. Balanced diet. Incorporate a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins to support overall health. Hydration. Drink plenty of water to help your kidneys filter waste more efficiently. Aim for 8 to 10 glasses a day. And hey, reduce your salt intake. Excessive salt can strain your kidneys. Opt for herbs and spices instead.
Limit protein intake. High protein diets can exacerbate proteinuria. Balance your protein consumption with more fruits and vegetables. When to seek medical advice. While vitamins and supplements can support kidney health, it's essential to seek medical advice if you notice persistent foamy urine or other symptoms like swelling, fatigue, or changes in urination patterns. Always consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new supplement regimen. Did you know that temporary foamy urine can happen if you urinate very quickly or forcefully? The speed can cause the urine to mix with air more vigorously, creating bubbles and foam. This kind of foamy urine typically goes away quickly and isn't usually a cause for concern. Foamy urine can also be caused by dehydration, rapid urination, or even certain medications, not just kidney problems. In some cases, foamy urine can be temporary and resolve on its own once the underlying cause is addressed, such as rehydration or adjusting medication dosages. Foamy urine can be a sign of rare genetic disorders, such as Fabry disease or Allport syndrome, which affect the kidney's ability to filter proteins effectively. Taking proactive steps can make a significant difference in managing proteinuria and maintaining kidney health. If you found this information helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more health tips. Stay healthy and take care.